New Zealand. So before moving forward, we first need to know what is a pilot. A pilot is the one who operates or is licensed to operate an aircraft in flight. Now, if we talk about how to become a pilot in New Zealand, so first we need to know how a career as a pilot in New Zealand is, is actually is. So before beco becoming a pilot in New Zealand is a very highly specialized career choice. Now it is a very rewarding career with a high paycheck and people who go for it travel around the world with a pro as a professional pilot. Now becoming a pilot needs a lot of dedication. You should be very responsible and you should have that majority within yourself that you can carry the flight with yourself. Now, you also need to be very committed towards your work because being a pilot takes you very much commitment to be there whenever you are needed. Now, while some flight training courses, now there can be two types of flight training courses in New Zealand. Some flight training courses involve full-time integrated theory and others cater for on-demand style flight training accommodating time and funding criteria. Now in some courses, you can have a full-time integrated theory along with the uh, flying hours within it. And some uh, of the courses are designed in such a way that you can have a funding, um, you can have, you can pay your fees and AMIs. And also you can have your own style of demand style training for uh, your uh, training. Now, whatever path a person chooses in New Zealand, the pilots in New Zealand graduate with a broad knowledge of how the climate of New Zealand is, what the weather conditions could be or will be when they will be flying. And also they'll be having world-class aviation skills and solid aircraft, techn uh, technical aircraft knowledge because that's what is expected out of a pilot that they know everything about an aircraft, the inside and the outside. And also they should have good flying skills as well as they should know what the conditions would be when they will be flying so that they can cater to the situations and move forward. Now, moving forwards, now if you want to become a pilot in New Zealand, you can have either, uh, a PPL or a CPL. A PPL is a private pilot license which indicates when you can that you can fly the uh, aircraft for recreation or you can carry non-fair paying passengers, or you can learn how to uh, fly different types of uh, small aircraft if you have a PPL. Now, to have a PPL, you need to have a 50 to 70 hours of flight time. That means that you should be in air for 50 to 70 hours flying an aircraft. And also you need to have a class to medical examination for gaining a PPL. Now, if a person wants to become a commercial pilot or they want to fly the aircraft as a career, they need to have a commercial pilot license or a CPL. Now, if the person has a commercial pilot license or a CPL, then they can become an agricultural pilot or they can fly charter flights or flight carry, uh, flights carrying fair paying passengers and also they can become an aviation instructor. Now, Moving forwards to the requirements. Firstly, if you have a New Zealand residency, in New Zealand, you will be preferred, you will be given preference to become a pilot. And it's not just in New Zealand, it's in every country. If you, have, if you are the resident of that country, you will be preferred over the residents of other countries. Now, medical. For becoming a pilot in New Zealand, you will have to go through a NZCAA class one medical, and apart from that, when you go for an interview, you again will be having a medical examination to check if you are if you are okay to fly a flight to become a pilot. Now, next, you have to go through a security check. That means you will need to go through a police and aviation security vetting. First, you will go through a police verification and then you will have a verification at the aviation security. So as to check if your documents are clear and you do not have a past record, which would not be, if you have a past record, it would not be good for the aviation or the company or joining. Now, a minimum age requirement to be considered as a role for a pilot, 
or a, uh, getting a commercial pilot license, the minimum age would be 18 years in New Zealand. Now, apart from that, swimmability. Now, only having the educational qualifications for becoming a pilot cannot be enough because they have to go through many circumstances which are which cannot be solved only by having the education qualifications or the uh, data that is required to become a pilot. You also need to have other extracurricular, you need to be good at uh, other activities to like the swimmability. Now, when they are trained in New Zealand, during the training period only, they go through wet drills so that they can, so that that indicates that they can swim and tread for water for one minute. Now, when they go through training process, uh, the candidates are go through the situations that they can face while flying an aircraft. Sometimes you have to land the aircraft over the water surface in any emergency conditions or if the ox oxygen pressure goes low and you immediately have to uh, land the uh, aircraft in the any water body, then you should know how to swim and save your passengers because saving the passengers comes as the first responsibility, whether it's for the cabin crew or whether it's for the pilot. Now, moving forwards, education. Now, what the preferred education would be for any, um, for the, what the preferred education would be by the New Zealand um, uh, aviation industries would be that you have a New Zealand secondary school qualification to enter university or equivalent as recognized by the New Zealand Qualifications Authority. If you do not hold a university entrance, but have achieved all seven NZCA ATPL exam credits, you'll meet the equivalent standard. This equivalent is subject to the pass or fail conditions, which means fewer than three failed exams in total with no multiple failures in one subject. Now, if you become a if you want to become a pilot in New Zealand and you uh, have, you need to have some educational qualifications as such as required. So firstly, you need to have a New Zealand secondary school qualification to enter university. Now, if you do not have that uh, second uh, university qualification, you can, um, I, you can go for the NZCAA ATPL exam credits. And if you pass all of them, you meet the equivalent standard to passing in university. Now, this equivalence can be achieved if you have a pass fail conditions, uh, which mean that you have fewer than three failed exams in total. Now, in those failed exams, you cannot fail more than three times multiple failure, uh, more, uh, multiple, you cannot have multiple failures in just one subject. Now, if you do not meet the uh, required uh, if you don't need either of the defined university entrance or ATPL standards, but you have completed a degree course, you will meet the education requirements. Now, either you can have a university entrance that you qualify, or you qualify the NZCA ATPL, get the a NZCA ATPL exam credits. Or if you do, do not have any of them, then you can have either have a, uh, you can have a degree course. And if you have a degree course, you meet the uh, requirements. Now, the three of them are required to become a pilot in New Zealand, which means either of the three you can have to become a pilot in New Zealand. Now, to conclude, I would like to say that um, firstly, entry as a pilot into Air New Zealand or um, Air New Zealand is a very uh, profound uh, is very profound in New Zealand as and is one of the most uh, pronounced. Say, uh, aviation company is to, now if you enter into that you have entered as a first officer on either an ATR or Q300 aircraft operating the regional network connecting New Zealand there are a number of these roles located at bases around New Zealand offering lifestyle choices in addition to a great career now what this line indicates is when you become an pilot when you become a pilot you get to travel around the world and when we get to travel around the world a lifestyle, you get to know various lifestyles and you can choose among them. And you can have a great lifestyle because the payback of becoming a pilot is very high. Now becoming a pilot in New Zealand requires great commitment as we have already talked about it. Along with commitment, it also needs motivation. 
because you can be called anytime if any pilot is ill or anything you can be called you can be kept on notice but once you commit yourself if you love your job if you want to do it then it's a very highly paying job not just as um, not just in the paycheck but also as a person you will be very satisfied becoming a pilot not just in new zealand but in any country thank you so much